Check this out. What better way to celebrate the end of a difficult case than with a bottle of... What are you doing? Castle, look at this vest Old Man is supposedly made. The zip ties and the wires. They're expertly done. You saw McManus. He was barely able to button his own shirt. In his current state, no, but he could have done this while he was still on his men. And what about Melanie's body? He burned it, and then he knocked out her teeth to keep it unidentifiable. And then he leaves a duffel bag in his stolen car for us to find? That doesn't make any sense. Well, he's mentally ill. I mean, not everything he does is going to make sense. Now, Castle, something is not right. That Zippo lighter that we heard on Melanie's voicemail, McManus doesn't smoke. We didn't find a Zippo in any of his things. Kate. Let it go. I mean, you don't have anything to prove. Not to Bracken. Not to me. Not to yourself. Castle, this isn't about proving something. This is about evidence. Well, all the evidence, the letter, the notebook, the bomb, everything traces back to McManus. What if somebody wanted us to find him? What if they're framing him? So that everyone would think that the threat was over while the real assassin is still out there. The C4 in the vest. What if that was the bomb that we were supposed to find and there's another bomb that's still out there planned for the keynote address? That's an event whose time and place has been known for weeks. If a bomb went off during Bracken's speech, they could say McManus said it before he was apprehended. Bracken's supposed to go on stage at 8 o'clock. That's 20 minutes away. Look, I know that I don't have any proof. I know that this sounds crazy. And you know how determined Bracken wants to give this speech if you stop it, and you're wrong. Your career is over. And if I'm right? This is Detective Beckett, badge number 41319. I'm calling for the evacuation of the Widmark Hotel.